morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is how can I share my art without bothering other people? I saw this question on Quera from an artist who wants to share his or her art but doesn't want to be annoying or spamming other people and who just want the one who wants to see the artwork to see the artwork. That simple. So for those of you who are also interested in this question, stay tuned. In the next seven minutes, I will be telling you five tips on how to share your art without being annoying. Tip number one, share high quality photos. There's nothing more annoying or frustrating personally than seeing a really ugly photo of an artwork. So many things can go wrong in a single photograph. It can be like blurry, not focused, badly lit or badly compressed. If you are an artist who wants to be treated professionally as an artist, make sure you have a professional presentation of your art. And having a good photograph is just the step number one. If this step goes wrong, everything else is just wrong. I will show you a good example of a good product photography. That will be uh, photos of an iPhone. After you see these photos, you want to buy a phone right away. And I can also show you some bad examples, like examples of bad photographs. Some artists are posting their artworks on Facebook to sell their artwork and after I see these photos, I have to say I'm sorry. Those are not bad art. But after seeing those photos, I don't want this artwork to be in my house. There's so many things you can do to improve your photography without spending a penny. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I will make a dedicated video on how to improve the photos of your art. Click subscription button and don't miss out. Number two, share with professional profile. Perhaps you're like me, you have a Facebook account to stay in touch with your family and friends and then you have like a LinkedIn account to stay in touch with clients, with ex-colleagues on a professional level and then you have an Instagram account to share your art. The thing is, if you have only one Instagram account, perhaps you're mixing family with collectors and not all your family and friends wants to see your artwork all the time and not all your collectors wants to see your family photo, kid photo, pet photo, drinking with your friend photo. So make sure that you separate. You make a business account for your art and then make another account for as a private account just to stay within your friend's circle. This way you are maximizing the professional exposure with your art and you are minimizing the risks of exposing your privacy. You can switch between the professional account with your private account like with one button on the Instagram app. It's very easy. So make sure that you have a professional profile for your art. Number three, write hashtags. A lot of people search content they want to see with hashtags. So make sure that you put the correct hashtags when you share your art on Instagram. I don't really recommend using some training hashtags just for the sake of exposure because if your artwork does not reflect the hashtag and when people are looking for certain things and they see this art, it's like, it's like noise, right? They don't want to, they're not looking for this thing and it shows up. Literally, you are like spamming other people. As a business account, you can use up to 10 hashtags, but as a private, let's say, uh, independent artist, I would say three to five hashtags maximum because you don't want to look desperate. Number four, share where emailing list. If you have an artist website, make sure you have a little button there that says subscription so you can collect emails of people, of potential buyers, and keep them informed of your upcoming events. This is very important because direct email is one of the best ways to market and promote your art. And you may say, well, are they going to open this email? The answer is probably yes. And you have more chance to have them open this email as an artist than any other people. Look at this data provided by Smart Insights. Emails from artists have the third highest open rate compared to other industries. So don't hesitate to open the free account at MailChimp and start sharing your art. It allows you to send up to 12,000 emails every month and have up to 2,000, that's a lot, 2,000 subscribers. I think that's enough to start with as a free user. Number five, share with people who are searching. Similar to the one who subscribed to your newsletter because they are asking for this information. You are not spamming them. Come on, if they ask for it, they get it, bala, right? So same for those ones who are searching on the search engine. They're looking for like certain artists, like perhaps they're searching for street artists, perhaps they're searching for like artists in Boston area, they're searching for photorealistic, or abstract, portrait landscape. They're putting in these keywords on this search bar and they get results because they want it. So by showing up on this top results, 
you are providing them a service. You are like saving them time from searching because they are looking for you. So it's very important to have a keyword strategy as an artist and show up on the top of the search results. And how to do that is quite easy. Just teach yourself about SEO and SEM and just learn on YouTube. There are plenty of free information on the internet. If you're interested, I will make a special series on just how to improve your ranking as an artist and how to do SEO, SEM as an artist. Stay tuned, don't miss out and click on the subscription button so I don't spam you. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.